We're several upgrades into our Traxxas Slash project and having complete the steering system upgrade, we're now moving our attention onto the wheels and suspension, starting with these, the Techno RC M6 Driveshaft Kit. There are various advantages to the Techno M6 kit, including strength as well as further tunability once installed, and we'll take a look at the differences as we progress through the upgrade. But naturally, you receive all parts required in the package, including the hardened steel drive cups, the equally hardened steel M6 drive shafts themselves, complete with joint and pin, the M6 custom 6mm stub axles, and the nylon steering blocks, which although plastic in construction are a lot more robust than the stock blocks. In addition we receive a variety of bearings, washers and hexes to secure all parts together. The main difference between the front and rear kit comes in the form of the appropriate hub carriers for either end. We'll take a closer look at all this shortly, for now let's start by preparing the vehicle. We'll look at the front end first, so with the body removed I'm going to remove the front bumper to make things easier to work on and clearer to see. This isn't a necessary step so feel free to skip this if you'd prefer, although it simply makes it easier to get to the screw pin holding the drive cup to the differential shaft, which we remove and place safely to one side since it'll be reused shortly. Next we can release the single nut holding the wheel in place, and once we're removed we get a clearer view of the stock drive shafts. Although from this view they look more robust due to the thickness, don't let that fool you, it really isn't the case. Nevertheless, next we remove the stock plastic hex, the drive pin, and the tiny washer. Finally we are ready to remove the original steering block, and to do that we release the single screw holding the steering link to the block, allowing us to move that out of the way, along with the shoulder screw on top, and on the bottom. After which we can release the block entirely, removing the axle assembly and drive shaft alongside with it. Now that we have the original drive shaft removed from the vehicle, we can take a closer look. It does look quite substantial, but the plastic construction doesn't feel nearly as robust as the Techno M6 kit. The drive cup at one end and the axle on the other, it's a rather neat design with the two shafts sliding alongside each other to counter the suspension movements. The hardened steel M6 drive shafts work in a similar fashion, not only is it much more hard wearing, with custom 6mm stub axles, meaning no more bending or braking, the drive shaft incorporates a captured CV drive pin which moves in and out alongside the drive cup, so a slightly different design but equally as effective. The steering block itself is also more substantial than the original, incorporating an ever so slightly larger outer bearing for better load handling, as well as a slightly different design with additional bump steer adjustments. Before we install the new unit, we need to remove the larger bearing from the stock axle, since this will be reused in the new kit. Nevertheless, installation begins with the drive cup, which sits onto the diff output shaft and is held in place with the screw pin we originally removed from the stock unit, albeit with some thread lock thrown in. Next we'll get the axle attached to the drive shaft by inserting the included pins to keep it securely in place. After which we can install the larger outer bearing we removed from the stock axle into the steering block, as well as the inner bearing supplied with the Techno kit. Now allowing the axle to pass through and sit nicely in place. To get this on the vehicle we line up the dog bone end into the attached drive cup, sliding the steering block into position at the same time, and screw in the two shoulder screws to secure it all in place. A quick check ensures everything is rotating freely and suspension is working nicely. The steering link can then be reattached to the steering block with three of the supplied 0.8mm washers above the hollow ball. All that's left is to install the remaining washers supplied with the Techno kit over the axle in order to minimise wheel slop, insert the original drive pin removed from the stock axle, push on the new hex, before installing the wheel, and the wheel nut. And we're done. With the new M6 drive shaft kit installed we can see there is a good reduction in the amount of slop too, and it makes a nice visual difference as well. Also notice how with the original, when the suspension is active, the entire shaft slide on one another. Whereas with the M6 kit, the dog bone end of the shaft simply slides in and out of the drive cup, a neat, effective, yet robust design. 
All that's left at this point is to repeat the same process on the other side. So wheel nut, wheel, screw pin, plastic hex, axle pin, and washer, steering link, both shoulder screws, before removing the steering block and accompanying axle and shaft. And it's on with the new, so with the diff cup and screw pin with thread lock of course. Attach the axle to the drive shaft, before installing the existing and new bearings into the steering block, and seating the axle in place. With the dog bone end sliding into the diff cup we can proceed to reinstall the steering block into position, and insert both shoulder screws followed by attaching the steering link, complete with washers of course, finally installing the two remaining washers, the original drive pin, the new plastic hex, before installing the wheel and the wheel nut. All that's left is to reattach the front bumper as normal, leaving us with the front end now complete. It's a similar story with the rear kit too, in fact it's even easier, the main difference being the hub carrier. We'll begin by removing the screw pin from the diff output shaft, keeping this safe as again it will be reused shortly. Next remove the wheel nut, the wheel, plastic hex, drive pin and washer from the stock axle. Of course we have no steering link here so we only need to remove the outer hinge pin connecting to the A arm and the camber link from the hub, before we can remove the hub with the entire axle assembly. And again we reverse the process by starting with the drive cup on the diff output shaft, secured with the screw pin with thread lock of course. Next we'll install the inner and outer bearings into the hub, although note that there are two hubs supplied, one 0.5 and the other 1.5, leaving us to choose which to install depending upon how you wish to tune your vehicle. Once decided and with the bearings in place we can screw in the camber link into one of the six holes available. Again this is for better tuning, although the stock position and probably a good place to start is the lower middle hole, so I'll go with that for now. Finally we attach the axle to the drive shaft with the supplied pins. Before inserting into the hub carrier, being careful to slide the dog bone end into the drive cup. And finally we secure into place with the outer hinge pin. All that's left are the washers for minimising wheel slop, the original drive pin from the stock setup, the new hex over the top being careful to line up with the pin, followed by the wheel and the wheel nut. Again we should notice reduced wheel slop and the shaft slides in and out of the diff cup when suspension is active. Perfect. Of course there is the final corner to complete, again using the exact same process which you should have got the hang of by now, so I'll speed through with the install. So there we have it, Techno M6 drive shaft kits for both front and rear installed and working wonderfully well, helping to increase durability, tunability and performance. With another upgrade now checked off the list, next we'll move on to shocks and springs.